the shop again. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, that's no one. So today is the day that we pick up the prototypes. And as I figured, customs was a nightmare. It's a little my fault and it's kind of not. If you ask Craig, he's gonna say it's my fault. You cannot drive. Yeah, you idiot. What is this? Is this manual? Yeah, bro. You should let me drive because I drive manual. You can't drive manual. My Jeep is manual. I will put my hand up and say, Paperwork is not my thing. It does my head in, I get really frustrated. The whole process of having to like scan your ID with this scanner from 1983 and just the whole process just is really overwhelming to me. Anyway, so, Two of the designers got their costumes, the prototypes, on the flight this morning. One designer, the backpack was too big to fit. So now we're having to find somebody that is going to be on the flight, uh, one of the flights this week, to actually bring it. I, I don't know how that's going to work out. I saw a picture of the backpack and it's beautiful, so I'm not stressed about it because it's worth it. Ready invoices, Courtney. I forgot to get those okay. from the designers. While you stuff your face and be self-righteous. Where are the invoices, Courtney? Sorry, I've been busy with a billion other things. Chromatic, but we shell them. Got you load from in an edala. We did grab a stink like alligator pa. It's just trying to figure out how to get it here now. So we have asked, um, I mean, I've got a WhatsApp model group, um, so I've told whoever is able to come in. Um, I'm just going to speak to them about what we expect of them as um, models and ambassadors for icons. And then we've got Pam and Amber coming in to just talk about joining the team this year. There's something really special that I've noticed in the last few years coming from icons and the bands and the decor and the design and the vibe too. And it was something that I wanted to be a part of this year. What attracts me to continue jumping in Carnival here in Cayman is that it's so diverse and there's room for everyone to enjoy. So it doesn't matter what your background is or where you come from, what you look like, how you are shaped, there's confidence and there's fun and that's what the day is about. So for me, it's like, it's a one-stop shop of just greatness coming together in one place and, you know, enjoying the day and enjoying human beings and, and life. Focus, mm -hmm. you realize what yeah. a big yeah. thing you're missing out on if you don't do that, you Absolutely. know what I mean? I had a double mastectomy in 2014 and I didn't have reconstruction um, to your self-image that can be quite um, traumatizing. I think the importance of um, taking part of this movement is um, to showcase your confidence and to be empowered, really. We live in a society where a lot of things has to be the norm. I think um, with an example of a woman who's been through breast cancer um, and have a little girl, I think we are meant to set examples and um, to showcase how important it is to have that determination to you know, just change up a little bit and boost up your confidence and I think your action speaks louder. Um, I think a lot of people would be surprised that I'm doing this. My name is Karis. This is my third year as an Icons model. Courtney McTaggart is one of my best friends, so I love supporting Icons and Hurley's Media with um, you know all of the things that they do. So you know I'm always the first one to say, "Yep, I'll do it." Um, even though like this being on camera, I've never done before, but here I am, and yeah, it's another experience, and I love doing it. Yeah, I get nervous every single time I have to do something, but I think it's it's always rewarding at the end of the day. I had a baby. Um, so I have a two-year-old, so my body isn't the same as it was before I had my baby and even before I had my baby, of course I had insecurities. I think that we're all working on being a better version of ourselves. So I think, yeah, every day we're like striving to be better and 
look better and feel better. So yeah, we all have our own insecurities. I might have some people come in and try them because I want to see them on a body. My name is Ophelia Manderson. This year I kind of did my own thing and I ended up staying by icons the whole time. I was really shy growing up, so being a part of a brand and as a model for costumes for Carnival, um, I feel like it helps females um, really feel comfortable with their body and it helps us have other females feel comfortable with their body. <laughs> Being like born in Cayman, you know, you kind of like grew up into Carnival. Carnival for me is a time where all of us as like men and women and different cultures around the world can get along for like a day and kind of um, just, it's, it's, a, it's just a time where we can be happy. But first, let's go back to customs, shall we? <laughs> After five attempts, three days, and countless arguments with Craig, the prototypes are finally here. And if you want to see what they look like, you'll have to come to the launch. But tune in next week, and I will give you a sneak peek. If I can get inside. <laughs> oh.